Hi there, I'm Felicia with Compass Land USA, your resource for great deals on rural and vacant land. I'm going to share with you the next question in our six part due diligence series, and that is how to check what the utilities are for your property. Before I do that, if you could, please like and subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be the first to know when the next video of this series is published. If you have any questions on the content of this video, leave a comment below and I'll reply with your answer. I'm going to continue with the same example property as the other videos in this series. So we have our property in Costilla County and we know the APN and parcel number. If you missed the first four videos in our due diligence series, make sure you check it out so you can learn how to check who the current owner is, if there are any property taxes or tax liens owed, the zoning, and how to check for road access to your property. So make sure you check out the rest of this playlist for that series. So like we said, at this point in our land buying journey, we know who the seller is, we know if there are any back taxes or liens owed on the property. We know what the zoning is. We know if there's road access and we know the boundaries of our property. The next thing that we need to do is check for any existing utilities and also find out if there aren't any utilities, how much it would cost to bring them in. Okay, so utilities are not very common with rural vacant land, especially with larger plots that are kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So utilities are not very common with rural vacant land, especially with larger plots. If you're looking at a more residential parcel that's kind of near a town or a city, you're much more likely to have some utilities already in place. Now, either way, doesn't matter what kind of property you're buying, it's good to check so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Okay, especially if you know that you do want to have utilities at your property, because if there aren't any there right now, it can sometimes be incredibly expensive to bring utilities in. And that might make you change your mind about whether or not you want to buy that property. So in previous videos, we went over how you can either use the county's online resources or give the specific departments a call to figure out the answers. You can still do that. Um, you can definitely give county offices a call, but unfortunately, unlike these other questions that we've already answered, there's no online database that will tell you if there are utilities like water, power, and sewer already at a property. Now I wish there was some sort of comprehensive database because it would make my job a lot easier as well, but unfortunately there isn't. So this method is still going to be free, but it does require a little bit of work for you to check. And unfortunately there's no way around it. You're going to have to make some phone calls. You can do a couple things. You can do a search for utility providers in that area, give them a call. You can um, see if the county planning and zoning department will tell you what service providers are most likely for your property. So you're still going to need that parcel number that we've been using and the address or the nearest road intersection if there is one. Unfortunately, with rural vacant property, there normally isn't an address. So I would just write down the closest two main intersections and kind of box it in on the north and south ends and go with that. So let's jump over to Google. We're going to search for the Costilla County GIS map. Now we've already gone over this in video four, so we're just gonna quickly navigate to it. Okay, we're gonna search for our parcel number. Oops, accept. Okay, so let's zoom out a bit. We see Ice House Road here. So I would definitely write down 
this intersection, Ice House Road and Bidley Road. So that's one. And then on the opposite end, on the south side, I don't know if I would record Buchanan Road because it looks like a crescent. You definitely want to try to find more of a main road. Okay, so that's another important note, Mountain Home Reservoir. That'll pop up in most of the county and utility maps. So you could tell them Mountain Home, it's north of Mountain Home Reservoir and just south of the intersection of Ice House and Bildley Road. Now let's check the world images layer and see if we can note of any other structures houses, that kind of stuff. So there's definitely one here. There's one over there. It looks like there's one there as well. Well, so that's a good sign. It looks like this area does have utilities or it must not be that expensive to bring utilities there if there are properties kind of more isolated without any neighbors. So let's head over to Google. Now the next thing that I would do is type in Costilla County Power. Now if anything, there might be some power lines at or near the property, but I really doubt that there's any type of water source. Okay, if nothing comes up, we can do service. Okay, so first company that pops up, San Luis Valley REC. And we see that they do service Costier County. So I would definitely call them first. You might have to leave a voicemail. The utilities I've dealt with, or the utility companies I've dealt with, don't always get back to you right away. But if you leave a voicemail, they will call you back as soon as they can. They're normally pretty good for that. If for some reason they say they don't provide um, that area of, of Costilla County, I would just ask them what's the right company and number that I need to contact. And they can normally help you out, maybe not with a number, but at least with the name of the company that is the correct uh, power provider. For water, I would actually call the county's planning and zoning department or perhaps the building and developments. It doesn't matter which of these you call because they will direct you to the correct internal source or county engineer. Now, while you've got the engineer on the phone, ask them about septic systems and wells uh, and what the minimum requirements are and how to get a permit for one. Okay, so for utilities, unfortunately, it's not as clear cut as these other four questions we've already covered, but you do know that for power, you get the location of your property, which you know how to do from video four, and then you can do a Google check for the power providers in that area. For water and sewer, You definitely want to get in contact with the appropriate engineer at the county. So start by giving the counties planning and zoning or perhaps the building departments a call and they will be able to direct you. Okay, so like I said, unfortunately, it's not as clear cut but at least now you know the process of what to do and how to figure out if the vacant property that you want to buy has utilities. While you have these guys on the phone, you can also ask them what the cost is to bring utilities to that area. The next due diligence item on your checklist should be how to check for slope and elevation. And I'm going to go over that in the sixth video of our series. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like it, share it, Tell a friend about it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you will be the first to know when the next and last video of our land buying series is published. If you had any questions, please leave a comment below and I will reply with your answer. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.